Welcome to uh, Bet El. Uh, this is uh, the new settlement of Bet El, right to the south of the mountain. You see the red roofs. This is the new settlement of Bet El. It was uh, founded uh, in the year 1977 by a group of young religious people. Most of them came from Jerusalem. We can see the towers of the Jerusalem to the south. Most of the people who founded Bet El came from Jerusalem 33 years ago. We came back to this uh, place uh, because here in Bet El, the Jewish people started, began its way in history about uh, uh, 4,000 years ago in the time of uh, uh, Abraham Avinu, Abraham, and, uh, and Yaakov Avinu, Jacob. Here in Bet El, both Abraham and uh, Jacob got the promise of the land. God promised Abraham to give him and his descendants to give them the land of Israel and later God repeated this promise to Jacob. So here in Bethel the connection of the Jewish people to its homeland, to the land of Israel, started here. The question we want to ask is where exactly stood Jacob when he got the promise? Jacob also had a famous dream here in Bethel. In that dream, Jacob saw a ladder. Here are the verses. And Yaakov, Jacob, went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted on a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, Isaac, the land on which thou liest, to thee, to you, will I give it, and to thy seed, to your descendants. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, to the west, to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, in you, and in thy seed, in your descendants, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This was the dream which started the connection of the Jewish people to its homeland. Here God gave Jacob both the promise and his destiny to be a source of inspiration to all mankind. All mankind will be blessed, all the nations of the world will be blessed by your people, by your descendants. In order to find the exact site of the dream, we have to walk around the mountain and probably 
we shall find the place because the place of the dream was probably a holy place. Probably it was preserved in Jewish tradition, in, in Christian tradition, in Muslim tradition. So let us walk around the mountain and try to find a place which gives us the indications that this was the place, this was the site where Yaakov Avinu had his dream. So let's walk. We have walked around the site, the site of the dream of Yaakov Avinu of Jacob. After this walking around the site, I'm sure that everybody can be much more confident that this is the site of the dream. Here we have a combination, a unique combination of archaeology, tradition, geography and the sentences of the Bible all together bring us to the confidence that this is the site, this rock, this site was the site where Yaakov Avinu, Jacob slept and had a dream in which he got the promise of the land, in which he could see the history of the Jewish people. What is unique in this dream? It's not only about the promise, it's about the history of the Jewish people. According to the interpretation of the Midrash, Yaakov Avinu, who is going to exile in Babylon, he symbolizes the exile of the Jewish people. And when God promised Jacob to bring him back, this is a promise to the Jewish people that after the long exile, God will bring us back to the land of Israel. Here is the verse in the Bible. Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. And behold... I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places to which you go. Which means that God promised the people of Israel to preserve us in exile, wherever we go in exile. God promised to keep us, not to let us assimilate and disappear from history. And here comes the second part of the promise. And I will bring thee back to this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. God promised us through Jacob, to bring us back from exile, even if exile is thousand years, two thousand years. God promised us to bring us back to the land of Israel, and not only to the land of Israel, but to this site, to this very site. Adama Azot means not only the land of Israel, but to this very spot, to this soil on which Yaakov Avinu, Jacob, slept and had his dream. Now you can understand the feeling that we, the people who came to establish the settlement of Bethel, you can understand our feeling. We felt that we are the witnesses. We give the testimony that God fulfilled His promise to the Jewish people. Not only that after 2,000 years of exile, we are back in the land of Israel, we are back in Bethel, 
and not only in Bethel, we are back in the sight of the dream. The settlement now is a big settlement, more than thousand families, thousands of people of Jews live here in this settlement, expressing in their existence the fulfillment, the promise of God. And I will bring thee back to this land. Not only the people who live in Bethel, but also we who stand here on this rock on which Yaakov Avinu, Jacob slept and has a dream. He was a lonely person, persecuted, chased by Esau, his brother. And God promised him, showed him the entire Jewish history. Everything that was promised to Jacob happened. Everything was fulfilled. And we who stand here on this rock, we are the best proof that God fulfilled his promise. Is there any stronger source of inspiration, of belief, of faith, stronger than this site. I don't know many other places like this place in which you can stand here on this rock, on the site of the dream, lift up your hands and declare God has fulfilled His promise to the people of Israel. And we are here, the best testimony that this promise has been fulfilled. We are so privileged to live in this generation and to live in this special, unique, sacred place. <laughs> Oh